So I want to create a map and have some map notes as to some travels that my artist has done. So I'm going to add a new tab. I'm going to say map and type in a title on and I want to have the map content selected. For the map, I want to create a map. Now once I have created a map, it will show up when I say select a map. I can go and find it. Um, chances are you're just going to need one map. So let's create a map. Notice the tab is the title, so that's going to be the title of my map. Click create. And what you're now in is create is, is a mapping interface and it's different than a story map interface and notice the story map the add tab is behind this window um, so that's how this map is going to feed into that tab in the story map so let's say my artist grew up in Florence Italy or was born in Florence Italy and it'd be great if I could have an exact address um, I want to uh, say add to map notes and notice it'll put a little marker now I can take that marker and I can edit the marker and squiggle this around a little bit so that I see oh, sorry I'm gonna make my screen a little bit bigger so I can see things here uh, I can also, sorry, grab the little marker guy and move it around. Let's say we grew up right here on the, the river. And now when I double click, hold on. Normally it's not that hard to, to see this if you're on a laptop screen. I've got a really small screen in order to um, make this video. So I would put in a description here. So I can write in here and notice that this um, rich text editor format is very similar to what we have in the map notes, or sorry, the story maps. So if I want to, I could highlight some words here. I could put in a, a URL link to something. Um, if you do that, if you link to a website, I would say open in a new window if you do that. Um, that way people will remain in the story map as well. If I want to have an image show up in this block, I would need an image URL. Same rules apply. It has to end in a .jpg, .gif, whatever. So I've filled in what, what I um, want to, and I might say uh, my birthplace. And it actually isn't Florence, come to find out, but it is um, Proto Vecchio. I learn, am learning a lot in this project. So the image URL, notice I put in a, a link to a map uh, of the area. The, you don't have to do that, but we do want a description. Um, the image URL, again, has to end in the .jpg. And then it's always nice if people click on your image to link it back to the website. So right now, here's the image, and I have the link directly to the image, and this is actually the link to the website where I got the image. And I'm going to say close. Now the next thing you might want to do is in the next video, which is change the little icon. Click save.